Good morning and welcome to our Friday worship on this lovely uh, sunny morning. As the end of term is now quickly approaching, today's worship is all about moving on. Although we may have mixed emotions about moving on, we need to remember the change is good and to remember that God is with us wherever we go. Whether we're moving house, moving schools or just moving to a new class, there are often times in our lives when we will experience having to move on. I wonder how you feel about having to move on. Excited? Mixed emotions maybe? Scared? Worried? Happy? Well, here's a lovely story by Dr. Zeus called Oh, The Places You'll Go. Oh, The Places You'll Go by Dr. Seuss. Congratulations, today is your day. You're off to great places, you're off and away. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know. And you are the guy who'll decide where to go. You look up and down streets, look them over with care. About some you will say, I don't choose to go there. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you're too smart to go down any not so good street. And you may not find any you'll want to go down. In that case, of course, you'll head straight out of town. It's opener there in the wide open air. Out there, things can happen and frequently do to people as brainy and footsy as you. And when things start to happen, don't worry, don't stew. Just go right along. You'll start happening too. Oh, the places you'll go. You'll be on your way up. You'll be seeing great sights. You'll join the high flyers who soar to high heights. You won't lag behind because you'll have the speed. You'll pass the whole gang and you'll soon take the lead. Wherever you fly, you'll be best of the best. Wherever you go, you will top all the rest. Except when you don't. Because sometimes you won't. I'm sorry to say so, but sadly it's true that bang-ups and hang-ups can happen to you. You can get all hung up in a prickly perch and your gang will fly on. You'll be left in a lurch. You'll come down from the lurch with an unpleasant bump, and the chances are then that you'll be in a slump. And when you're in a slump, you're not in for much fun. Unslumping yourself is not easily done. You will come to a place where the streets are not marked. Some windows are lighted, but mostly they're darked. A place you could sprain both your elbow and chin. Do you dare to stay out? Do you dare to go in? How much can you lose? How much can you win? And if you go in, should you turn left or right? Or right and three quarters? Or maybe not quite? Or go around back and sneak in from behind? Simple it's not, I'm afraid you will find, for a mind maker upper to make up his mind. You can get so confused that you'll start in to race down long wiggled roads at a breaknecking pace and grind on for miles across weirdish wild space headed, I fear, toward a most useless place, the waiting place. For people just waiting, waiting for a train to go, or a bus to come, or a plane to go, or the mail to come, or the rain to go, or the phone to ring, or the snow to snow, or the waiting around for a yes or a no, or waiting for their hair to grow, everyone is just waiting. Waiting for the fish to bite, or waiting for the wind to fly a kite, or waiting around for Friday night, or waiting, perhaps, for their Uncle Jake, or a pot to boil, or a better break, or a string of pearls, or a pair of pants, or a wig with curls, or another chance. Everyone is just waiting. No, that's not for you. Somehow you'll escape all that waiting and staying. You'll find the bright places where boom bands are playing. With banner flip-flapping, once more you'll ride high, ready for anything under the sky, ready because you're that kind of a guy. Oh, the places you'll go, there is fun to be done, there are points to be scored, there are games to be won, and the magical things you can do with that ball will make you the winningest winner of all. Fame, you'll be as famous as famous can be, with the whole wide world watching you win on TV. Except when they don't because sometimes they won't. I'm afraid that sometimes you'll play lonely games too. Games you can't win because you'll play against you. 
all alone. Whether you like it or not, alone will be something you'll be quite a lot. And when you're alone, there's a very good chance you'll meet things that scare you right out of your pants. There are some down the road between hither and yon that can scare you so much you won't want to go on. But on you will go, though the weather be foul. On you will go, though your enemies prowl. On you will go, though the hack and cracks howl. Onward, up many a frightening creek, though your arms may get sore and your sneakers may leak. On and on you will hike, and I know you'll hike far and face up to your problems, whatever they are. You'll get mixed up, of course, as you already know. You'll get mixed up with many strange birds as you go. So be sure when you step, step with care and great tact. And remember that life's a great balancing act. Just never forget to be dexterous and deft, and never mix up your right foot with your left. And will you succeed? Yes, you will indeed. 98 and 3 quarters percent guaranteed. Kid, you'll move mountains. So, be your name Buxbaum or Bixby or Bray, or Mordecai Ali Van Allen O'Shea, you're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting. So, get on your way. time for some. Change is good for us all and is better than being comfortable doing the same thing day in and day out. You may have heard of hermit crabs. They find a shell that fits and then they live in it until they grow too big for it. Do you know what hermit crab crabs do then? They leave the too small shell and rush around the seabed looking for a bigger shell before something eats them. This process repeats itself several times through the life of the hermit crab. 
So hermit crabs throughout their life have lots of changes and those changes may be exciting, but they may also be nervous because of that sense of the unknown and what's coming next. Now, there's other animals in the natural world that also have big changes. And here's a short story and video about um, eagles and the way they just get pushed out into the big wide world. In the Bible, we can read about a time when Jesus' disciples were preparing for change, just like you are now. Jesus has said to them that he would soon have to leave them to carry on the good work they had been doing without him, still being on earth. Jesus had a special friendship with his disciples and they felt very close to him. There were times when he taught them more about God, like we, your teachers, help you to understand things. There were times too when he showed them how much he cared for them, making them feel safe and loved. There were times as well when he challenged them to do things that they thought they wouldn't be able to do. When Jesus told his disciples that he would be leaving them, they felt very nervous. How would they be able to carry on serving God without him living alongside them? Before he went, Jesus promised that he would send a special helper, the Holy Spirit, who would continue to give them power to do the things God asked of them. 
Although they couldn't see the Holy Spirit, they were able to continue without Jesus being with them because God continued to help them through his Holy Spirit. God promises us that if we ask him, he will be with us wherever we go. Home, school, or even a new place, starting a new school, for instance. In the words of the next song, be bold, be strong, because the Lord your God is with you. to the end of another school year which for some of you means the end of your time at this school don't just focus on what you're leaving behind think about what you'll be taking with you when you go hopefully some good memories perhaps you can see that you have gained confidence self-worth wisdom and faith for the next challenge period learn from what's gone before and move on are you ready for bigger things when it's time to move on it's because like for the hermit crab there's another shell out there that is a better fit for you. However, you can't move into your shell until you leave your old one. Let's sing another song, Change and Grow.
Amsa Gwethi, let's say a short prayer. Dear God, as we think about the next stages in our lives, whether it is a new class, new school or new home, help us to be willing to move forward. Help us to have courage. Help us to let go of the things that hold us back and to look up as we face the future. Amen. And there you are. Thank you for tuning in to this worship. We have three more to go, just three more. And hope you've uh, looking forward to a special end of year worship next Friday at 10 a.m. when we will have a few surprises for you and we will finish off the class. But a big week next week when you find out your new classes and teachers and do some transition activities. So hopefully you're looking forward to the last week of term and have a lovely weekend now the weather's getting a bit better and we'll see you next week. Take care, God bless, goodbye. Once I was in prime